Hi there, um, I'm Laura. I work for Grand Work North East of Cumbria and we're in Darlington today doing a walk around Drinkle Marsh Nature Reserve. It's on uh, Wessel Road. Um, the Nature Reserve itself is about 25 years old or so before um, all this was planted and, and the pond put in. It was basically farmland with a, a beck running through the middle of it. So we'll go and have a wander through, see what we can see, I'll show you around. As you can see, not a spot just inside the gate. Um, quite often there's uh, local sightings of animals and stuff put up on here. Um, recently there's been some mandarin ducks seen. So this is the outfall from the pond, the beck that flows out and it flows underneath Wesso Road. Um, it's got a weir on it which holds it back so there's two, there's one down by the road and then there's one a bit further along which is where the uh, it holds back the pond. As you can see as well, it's been a bit cold recently. Um, we've had three, four days of snow. Um, it may look sunny now, and it is nice and sunny, but it's still about minus two. So it's still a bit chilly. And as such, quite a lot of the waterways are quite frozen over. So we don't know exactly what we're going to see when we get down to the lake. There might be one big ice cube with uh, ducks and other birds wandering around on the surface. There's a oh, bit of a notice board. Gives you an idea of what you can see down here. And then next to it, that is the weir that's holding back the entire lake. Not very big, but it does a job. Well, it's definitely looking like the lake could very well be frozen over here. So all the trees you can see have been planted in the last 25 years or so. Well, they've been planted or naturally sprouted. Um, as I was saying, this used to be farmer's fields um, and then there was a an L-shaped beck that flowed through them and when the weird it up it backed up so that the, the lake actually isn't very deep at all 
It's a metre and a half, two metres deep at the absolute most. Oh yes, the lake is well and truly frozen over. What have we got on it? Black-headed gulls mainly. <laughs> Nothing fabulously interesting. See whether or not we can get down here. So this is a willow tunnel. Let's go down here. Oh, that's fairly icy. So this is a, a willow tunnel built on a pier out into the actual lake. of moor hens running around on the ice yeah what have we got black headed gulls might be a couple of juvenile herring gulls or lesser black back gulls uh, might be something more interesting in the distance we'll go around and have a look see oh someone spooked them a couple of coots over on that side wandering around and then over on here there's another jetty out there as well You can see it's fairly frozen. A little bit of a reed bed there as well. So these are the reed beds behind the pond. We'll have a wander around and see what's down the other end. As you can see we're quite close to an industrial estate and uh, Darlington Tips back there as well. So quite close to quite a lot of industry really. Through the trees. Let's have a look, see. So we've got a, an open area of water there. 
full of ducks. Uh, a few gulls having baths. Uh, mostly mallards by the looks of things. Kind of hard to tell from this distance really. Don't think we get much closer but... Yeah, that's basically where the water flows into the lake. So that could be why that area's been kept open or it could just purely be the ducks on there. So at this point the path split. There's a boardwalk going left which goes to that housing estate. And then this way the path continues straight on to the housing estate you can see in the distance. Now, unfortunately the there isn't actually a walk behind the pond, so you can't do a loop really. There is uh, various footpaths through the woodlands, uh, and we'll have a go at one going back. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's a nice little small site. Um, yeah, it, it's it's nice in the snow, but I'm assuming it'll be even better in the a nice warm summer's day. Um, so come down and have a look, see. So this is one of the woodland tracks uh, right on the eastern side of Drinkfield. As you can see there's, there's a school field. And I'm going to head back this way, heading back towards Wessel Road. So these trees have only been in about 15, 20 years. Like I said, it used to be a farmer's field, although you wouldn't leave it now. You can tell that they've been planted because there's straight lines of them everywhere. Um, but yeah, these have been planted only 20 years and already it's a full-sized woodland. Just shows how quick trees can take over a field getting close to the road now I can hear it so path goes that way back onto the path that we walked around the back of the pond and this one goes down to the road and back onto the path where we started well I hope you all enjoyed it keep an eye out There'll be more walks to come. Probably not this snowy though.